Hey guys, this video is going to be all about my very first author of it slash book signing. So I'm just going to be showing you a lot of footage from the signing as I'm talking about my experience. So um, it should be a fun video. So yeah, let's get into it. So for those of you who don't follow me on Twitter or Instagram, you may not know that on this past Friday, I got to meet Katie McGarry and Bethany Griffin both YA authors that are pretty popular. I mainly went because of Katie McGarry. She's one of my all-time favorite authors. Just to meet her was an amazing opportunity. So anyways, we got to Louisville pretty early, and before we even went to the bookstore, there was a couple of really cool shops. And I'll show you some footage from it because it was just really cool. There was a lot of old stuff in there, but it was very vintage, and I just fell in love with this place. And there was one shop that we went to, and we walked out the back door, and it was just like this beautiful garden. I mean, the first thing I thought when I went out there was like this would be the most amazing place to read. But anyways after we did all of that then we made it to the bookstore and it's an independent bookstore. I'm pretty sure that I read somewhere that it's the oldest bookstore in Louisville so that is really cool. I only bought one book there. I bought Dare You To by Katie McGarry of course because she was there signing. So now to the actual event. It was really cool. Um, we got there super early like when we walked in the guy was still setting up chairs so no one else was there for the signing yet. Once the author showed up, Katie McGarry, I think I saw her first and I saw a girl walking around in the audience that looked like her, but I wasn't really sure if it was her. So I kept looking. I was like, is that her? I don't, I don't know. I don't want to say anything. It's not her. Um, so I never did say anything to her while she was in the audience, but it was her, I found out. So then the authors came up to the front table and then they both just read parts from their books. They talked a little bit about themselves and their books, of course, and then they just pretty much took questions the rest of the time. It was a really informal event and that's what I liked about it. It was really laid back and casual. So then after that the signing started and we got kind of towards the back of the line and when I walked up to the table I handed her my books for her to sign and we just kind of chatted a little bit. I can't remember exactly everything that was said. A lot of you might know that I did a video review of her book Dare You To. So if you haven't seen that video I'll link it down below. After I had posted the video I tweeted a link to Katie McGarry and she had watched the video. I knew that. So when I went to this event I was like I'm just gonna ask her if she remembers watching my video review. But one thing I said in the video was that I was from Kentucky and I actually had a UK t-shirt on which I didn't even plan because she's from Kentucky as well and her books are set in Kentucky so I was like maybe she'll remember that. So as I was up there at the table talking to her I was like I don't know if you remember but I did a video review for Dare You Too and she kind of looked at me for a minute like she was trying to remember and she goes, are you from here? I was like, yeah. She's like, yeah, you're the Kentucky girl or the UK fan or something like that. And I was like, yeah, I cannot believe that she remembered. It was so awesome. Um, I already owned Pushing the Limits before I went to the event so I brought it with me so that she could sign it. She also put these little bookmarks in each book that she signed. Um, and I love that it's personalized. It says, Emily, love never fails, Katie McGarry. So that's really cool. And then of course she signed Dare You Too. And I had a bookmark in here, but I'm using it in the book I'm reading right now. But this one says, Emily, Dare to Love, Katie McGarry. I'm just so excited that I have these books signed. Um, these are going to be two books in my collection that are some of my most prized possessions now because I just love her. I love her books. This is one of my favorite books ever. And then after she signed the books, I actually got a picture with her, which I'll show you. I didn't have the money to buy Dare You Too at the bookstore and Bethany's book, so unfortunately I did not get to talk to her or to have her sign my book. I was really upset about that, but maybe I can meet her again in the future and, and have a book for her to sign. But both Bethany and Katie just seem like really awesome people, so down to earth, so sweet. I had so much fun at this event. So that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. That's a good idea, Emily. I talk to myself, you know. Hey guys, so today, oh my dogs, lay down out of the frame. I can't stop staring at these books right now. They're so beautiful. It was, it wasn't some, like, I don't know. That was louder than I meant for it to be. Uh, oh, I'm tired. We were like, she literally just posted her first video today and she asked me to check it out and I was like, immediately knew that I was really gonna like her channel. Um, 